you could take Belichick or Harbaugh. Harbaugh. Okay. Not even close for me. Uh, it, it, when it comes to, like, from my viewpoint, he's the best quarterback developer we have in the game. That's available, certainly. He's, I mean, if we talk about Josh Johnson and then Alex Smith and then Colin Kaepernick, um, and then obviously what he's done with J.J. McCarthy, he's the best quarterback developer when it comes to how we get these guys to play at their very best. So I, I, I would be a little bit concerned in regards to with Coach Belichick and how poorly it went with Mac Jones. Obviously, he's got the Tom Brady in his belt as well. But are you bringing those people that developed Tom Brady? Like, who is he bringing with him in regards to his offensive staff? I think is a huge part of that conversation. It's there. What do you think the odds are that Belichick gets frozen out here? That maybe he's not a head coach this next season? Um, I still don't know. I, I still see him getting a job somewhere. You know, like, obviously, we'll see what happens with Coach Harbaugh and whatnot. Um, you continue to hear Coach Belichick's name around Atlanta. I, I, I would be surprised if he gets frozen out. But again, I don't know. You've heard these conversations from the outside of, hey, look at his staff. Everyone, I get hit up by people, excuse me, of like, look at Coach, Coach Belichick's staff. Look at his staff. Look at his staff. And that's the weak part. And so you, you got to, who's going to be his offensive coordinator? Because Bill O'Brien's in Penn State. Is it going to be Josh? I, I, I don't know. So I think that's part of that. Well, I also wonder with the Chargers, because Harbaugh would be great. I think Pete Carroll back in Southern California running the Chargers would make more would sense. Be awesome. I can't yeah. see Bill going to the Commanders. Uh, the Raiders' job is closed. You got Atlanta. He's not going to do Carolina, I don't think. Right. It uh, feels like Atlanta, right? Yeah, Atlanta, and that's it. Yeah. But it feels like, okay, two interviews – has it gone on a little – because you can hire him right now. Has it gone on a little too long? I mean, it has for me where I, I have more doubt now than I did before. Yeah, I mean, I think the whole conversation around Coach Belichick are one of the most important ones, I, I, you know, really from the jump has been how much say he wants in personnel. You know, the, the, the last 10 drafts in New England have been bad. So Terry Fontenot is the general manager in Atlanta. Is he giving up power to select? Is he giving up power in final say? How much does, you know, Coach Belichick want? I've I said this yesterday, Dan. I you've been around it longer than me, and I don't pay attention to it, or certainly haven't as much. But you know, the more that maybe some of these conversations or calls come in for me as well, like does this coaching cycle just feel like it's taken a long time? I feel like teams have moved faster in the past than they are right now. And I know Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson are very much so still in that conversation, Todd Monken. So maybe they're waiting on those guys, but I don't know. 